Hello, I hope everybody's doing good today. It is a beautiful fall day here in Kentucky, and I am doing a uh, several journals at, at one running one time where I can uh, take some time off. Please pardon my dogs upstairs. I mean, I don't know what they uh, they are paving the road out in front of our house here, and and our dogs do not like that. So. I hope they stop pretty soon. I made a little uh, puffy uh, traveler's notebook here. Uh, she is what four and a half by eight and I called her the soldier because of this right here and she's a steampunk theme. Uh, she has 96 pages front and back and I will um, and she's got pardon me uh, puffy right here oh yeah and what I was doing before what I was talking about before the dogs uh, interrupted me is I'm doing several videos today where I can finish getting my garden uh, ready for the winter uh, so I mean that's a a lot of work out there and so I'm doing several videos uh, worked real hard to get my been working really hard for over a month to get some journals uh, ready to do videos uh, where I can take some uh, recording. I won't take off. Uh, I come in uh, in the afternoons and work or I work in the morning in my studio and then go outside. Uh, I have to almost be creating something uh, every day. So I work on things every day, but I need time from doing getting the recordings ready and uploaded to YouTube. So I'm doing several today, and I have apologized in one. This is a kitchen burn that I have covered up here, and then I've apologized for my nails. Um, I had a good manicure to start with before I started recording, but I've been working with uh, Mod Podge and uh, glue, and it just eats the polish right up. So. Please pardon my hands. But anyway, like I was saying, this is the soldier. He's steampunk. He's a traveler's notebook. He's puffy. I got that uh, puffy stuff underneath the, I don't know what you call it. I'm not a seamstress. Uh, underneath the fabric. And then I have sewn all the way around. And then I did the, the lace here. And got a, a little one inch and a quarter spine. And a black spine. Um. Uh, and cotton spine and here's the back and again this is Tim Holtz grungy fabric and I just took some of the fabric and made a tie with it so let's run through I said 96 pages front and back and so you can see I've got the black fabric here got some big pockets here and then I did some card stock just to give it a a little bit more depth but it's steampunk theme throughout I think this is meant to go here yes pockets just a little traveler's notebook with a little grungy punky steam, uh, steampunk going on don't do that many of this uh, size I like my six by nines mainly is what I create uh, but every once in a while you'll see me throw in a traveler's notebook And this is the first one I've ever done using the uh, batting. That's what you call it. Batting underneath the fabric to give it that soft, fluffy feel. But not very many uh, places on Etsy where I get my uh, digital papers does uh, traveler's notebook size 
and you can't buy just the eight and a half by eleven size and then cut them down and get a good looking uh, journal. So that's one reason why I don't do very many of this size. But I always try to have some in my shop. So you've got four pockets here full of ephemera. And I know I'm going fast because I have a, a group that just likes to see them flip quickly. They know my journals very well and they know how, how I make them. I use different sizes of paper, and not sizes, but different weights of paper. I use card stocks quite a bit, and I use 67 pound paper. Uh, I have gotten where I just like to use them on all the pages, and, and uh, I think it's 27 pound. I did purchase some 20 pound uh, copy paper but I, I just felt like that it was too too light so this is the soldier steampunk and he will be in my Etsy shop sometimes today if you're interested and uh, on Instagram and Facebook so that's the soldier and I will talk to y'all another day bye bye